to talk about Kohler Command oil pumps. What we did here is a we got a new steel gear to replace the plastic gear because there's a lot of trouble with these things uh, going bad. Matter of fact, I had one just the other day, a Pro V twin gear broke, blew the engine up, destroyed everything. But first off, here when we take one of these oil pumps off, you'll see there's two dots on here on the big gear and the little gear. All those dots mean that side goes up. It don't mean it's not time because as you go around, there's more teeth here than is here. So if you go one round, see it's one tooth away, two teeth away. So if you keep going around enough times, it'll catch back up to it again. It'll get all back lined up. See one more around there? See it's back there again. So don't worry about that. That goes up. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to get this gear off, get this gear off, and get the new one on without wrecking anything. So first thing, we'll take this off here. What we'll do is we need to, get, need to put a stand here. You can do this in a press. You got a little arbor press like we got, or you can use a, a vise will work too. But I put these bolts here about three inches long. Put it on each side here. That way, it'll hold up off there, so I can put it on the and press this gear off. The shaft is only held in by the press of this gear is on this shaft. So what I do, I'll put it in here like this. Get it lined up. Get a little, get get it moving. Back it up, then I'll use like a bolt or something like that. I just use a bolt to push it out. You can use anything you want. Nothing fancy here, it's just trying to get the shaft off the gear. So we'll get this off the rest of the way. Okay, that is off. So now you can take this this off here. We're done with these bolts. There's a little thrush wash there. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. We're gonna take these bolts off here, don't need it anymore. Okay. Now we're gonna take this gear off here. Throw it away, trash on with that thing, so it makes the guy. Put this back here and line it back up to the flats. Not, nothing technical about this. Put that little thrush rusher back on here. Stick this thing back through here like this, just like it was. And usually I just start out with, I'll just press it on this way as far as I can go first. The dot goes up again, remember that? I go as far as I can. Then now we need to hold the gear while I press this on. I use this uh, this is a front transmission spacer off of the Cub Cadet off the bottom shaft. So you just do something like that. It, it works good for this. Kind of line up with the gear so it's lined up like that. Put it on here and then we're going to press this thing down here a little bit further. You'll, you'll bottom out against the gear. Then I, I take a little piece of old dry shaft which over here. And it's going to press this thing on here. We're going to get pretty close to this thing. And it finds its own happy spot too. Okay that's tight. It don't move at all. You can try to put a, pressure, a feeler gauge screen there. It might help a little bit. Uh, but not always. So you want to leave a little space that you can take this thing and hold that top right there. I'm going to grab a little hammer here, a plastic hammer. A plastic hammer usually if it gives a good wrap, you can just drive this back on because it will find its own spot because that gear can only go so far. I give that. I give you a couple of taps, not spins. You'd want like five or ten thousandths play in it. Put that on there. Dots there. Don't really matter whether the dots line up or not. Both dots go up. And motor back the other, and you're ready to rock and roll. You won't ever break an oil pump gear, and I know that's a problem with these things too. So there you have it. That's all you got to do.